Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Catherine from Soul Siren Tarot, here to do your 2022 reading. All right, it's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If it does, great, I hope it helps you. If it doesn't, just kick it to the curb or if you know someone would help, please do share. Thank you for all you Virgos who stuck by me. I've been retraining in a new job. I'm just working, working, working. It's been very intensive, um, but I'm trained now, so hopefully you know we'll be all right okay virgo right what have we got going on just want to let you know i am open to private readings obviously time is of the essence so do let me know if you want one details are below i'm going to keep them at the 30 pound mark um for you um just as a thank you and as i continue to say thank you to all of you all right just contact me at soulsoundtyro at gmail.com virgo let's go what have we got it's choppy energy seeing this for so many signs all the time can okay, i will take that right okay Ace of Coins. What a nice, beautiful way to start out your reading, right? This is going after your power, going after your abundance, going after your joy, but it's also a sign from spirit to say yes, right? The stag at the bottom of the card. Stag is all about leadership, right? Taking leadership in your life, and that's what I feel. I always feel like it's the tree of life around it as well. It's like, I am going to be dancing with the universe, says Virgo, right? I've had enough of playing with jokers, two of coins, right? People in my life who were tripping me up, getting in my way, blocking my path. Can you see the mask on them, right? People who've got their own agendas. I'm fucking sick of it, says Virgo. I am not doing it, right? I can see the players. And you see, it's lovely because you've got the Ace of Pentacles, which is basically a one, right? And then you've got the two of coins too. It's it's like, I, I, I'm not playing in the, right, in that murky water anymore. That's just what I'm getting for this Virgo, right? Can be love, can be work, doesn't matter. I'm not playing in the murky water. I'm not swimming with the sharks. I'm not doing it, right? I'm bigger and I'm brighter than that. I am a queen of wands. Absolutely gorgeous, three coming out together, right? And queen of wands knows what she wants. Remember, it's male or female, it's an energy knows what she wants and will go after it. Can you see, how looks, look at the wise look on her face. She's actually like, I know, I see you for what you are. I see you for what you're trying to get from me. I see you for what your real game, two of coins there, playing games. I'm not having it, right? Stop playing games. That's what Virgo says. You'll be out of my life in a fucking flash because I am off with spirit. Right, and I understand, says Virgo, that sometimes things can take some time to come in. Right, wish fulfillment can take some time, but I understand there's alchemy at play, and spirit is directing me onto my best path, and that's what I'm following. That's what I feel. I've been there before, were I want to say impatience has tried to uh, make me manufacture something, or people have been coming in with it. It's almost like false pentacles, you know. Honestly, this is the re this is the real pentacle. He, like they're saying look have this pentacle come after this pentacle and Virgo the big one is what you're really going after and it's waiting for you that's what I'm feeling the divine are guiding you there so keep at it you've got to learn to fight those idiots off four of swords you've got to because if you stay in Knight of Swords on the battlefield with them, this is where you'll continually be, down and healing, not making progress. You know, I keep getting up, taking three steps forward, two back, or even four back. It depends what you're playing with, right? No, no, no. Know who you will let in, know who you won't, right? And no more game playing. That's what this Virgo is clearly saying with whatever it is in my life. The minute I spot danger, danger, Queen of Wands, the minute I spot something that's coming towards me that's not my greatest good it gets cut the fuck off that's what virgo's saying right honestly and you have got to be that strong because you oh, anything <laughs> that sucks your energy is not meant to be in your life anything in your life reciprocal like the six of coins is supposed to be helping you in increase your energy and then you then give that energy back and that increases theirs and back and forth it goes and we get to that high vibration Virgo, this is love, right? Knight of Cups. But this can be something that takes a long time to come in, but it's something you can rely on. I do think it's a love interest, um, but it can be friends, but I do think it's a love interest. It's coming under that ace of coins. Virgo, I just feel that as you continue to, to, to take cut the bad out, 
right the drain is out the drama is out and you can just focus even if it's you know coming back to basics right coming back to basics and i'm just going to concentrate on these few things these couple of things rather than trying to do everything right the path opens up towards the ace of coins and i feel this knight of cups is in there as well waiting for you having been through their own journey just what I feel Virgo right so I want to I want you to know you know you are able for this because maybe I'm, yeah I've got it yeah yeah I was gonna say oh <laughs> right. I was gonna say maybe I'm speaking to a Virgo right now is a bit down and out that's what I feel down and out and that four of swords I'm fucking sick of it I'm sick of getting up and getting kicked in the teeth says Virgo right knight of swords here I'm sick of battling everything's a battle you know as soon as i sort of solve one battle another one pops up and i'm sick of it i feel like these these energies are chasing my tail the only way to get them off your tail is to cut them the fuck out don't give them the energy they're looking for don't look back at them yeah deal with what you have to deal with and get it out because i'm telling you now look at this devil right being chained to toxic energies coming under that queen of wands Queen of Wands doesn't do that. Queen of Wands does not do that, right? She sees the devil for what it is and she blocks it. Yeah, she blocks it. And that's what you've got to do. We often get caught up in emotional thinking, you know. Oh, that person, you know, the lonely or, oh, that person, you know, they don't mean it. Or, oh, that person, you know, I should really be nice because I'm a nice person. No, get into your Queen of Wands, right? You've got a soul journey to complete and that takes a lot of energy. So you cannot afford to be giving that energy away. This has just been up for um, Leo, Eight of Swords. Feeling trapped, that's what it is. Free yourself, right? Free yourself to follow your divine path. Get rid of the game players. I do think, I'm sorry Virgo, but you are still carrying the energies of a narcissist here, right? I don't care if you're with one now. I don't care if, you know, you've left one years ago or recent. What well, it doesn't matter. You're carrying the energies of it and it's blocking you. Let it go, right? Come back to your own confidence. Come back to your own confidence. The divine are guiding you through it. You know what we say about the Eight of Swords, it's feeling trapped, it's feeling like you can't go anywhere, you're bound, but look, there's the glow of the divine, the divine helping you spread your wings and come out of it, yeah? But you, if you keep doing the same things, what's the saying? I don't know, I can't remember who said it. You keep doing the same things and how can you expect a different outcome? You can't, right? Because if it's not working, if it's not working, if you make a cake with certain ingredients and it comes out like rock, like mine do, yeah, flat and rock, right? Then why would you go and do exactly the same thing again and create the, you know, put the same ingredients again and cook it in the same way? Because what's going to happen? It's going to come out like rock and flat, isn't it? Right? So when you feel that it's not, you're not gaining the traction, it's not picking up pace, do something different. Review the ingredients in your life. Review the energies in your life. What is it I need to do to create the change? Because, look, oh my God, right? Three of, three of Wands is about moving forward, traveling, yeah? It doesn't have to be physical. It can be emotionally. But moving forward to allow your ships to come in. You've been stood there a long time, right? But you're going to do it because, look, I will only go with, I said to you, six of coins. Reciprocal energies, yeah? Yeah? What, you, what I put out, I get back. Yeah, it's mutual and it raises our vibrations. And you see the scales, it's like, this is justice. This is how it's supposed to be, right? So no sticking in energies that pull you down. No hanging on to past narcissistic abuse. That's what I feel. No, you've got to clear it. Get it out, get it out, get it out, right? Work it through. Because then those journeys can open up for this Virgo. Right? That's just what I feel. Very particular. Yeah, look. <laughs> right? Page of coins. Solid offers start to form and come in. Messages start to come in. Whoever's held you back, Virgo, I'm telling you, they've done it for a reason. They're probably still push-pulling the strings in the background. That's what I feel. I can't remember who else I had that for. But that's what I feel puppeteering. Right? Blocking you from your opportunities, your messages. Look at the ingredients. Look at the toxic energy. You want to build a new life? Build a new life. Go for it right? Doesn't mean to say you have to throw the baby out with the bathwater, but you start to look at what, if I keep doing the same things, the same result will occur, you know? I might be connecting with a Virgo who's, you know, just come out of the festive season, you know, um, and you celebrate it and just being like, I fucking promised myself I wouldn't be in the same position this time next year and I'm still here, right? And that's what I feel, right? And it's like, well, yeah, because you've been doing the same things, so... 
you know <laughs> right so virgo i've got to give you a push up the ass because i'm telling you this one page of swords right this is this is the narc it's clear to me there's been an arc it's absolutely uh, hindered your progress and now we've got to recognize it stop laying down in that four of swords just get it out get up and get on yeah get up and get on high priestess has been showing in all the readings i'm telling you everyone is being asked now in this spiritual awakening to come to their center and say who am i what's my queen of wands energy what is that i want and where am i going and then starting to bust your moves i'm getting all caught up in this gap right Justice. I told you. Six of coins there. It's mirroring it. Right? This is how it's meant to be. And this is how it starts to play out. Because you're taking positive action. You're not just doing affirmations. Affirmations are important. But you're actually busting your moves. All right, Virgo. That's what I'm feeling. So it's time. It feels very much like it's time. You see, again, you can't see it coming. It's like you're still blinded. You see the blindfold again. We can't, just because we can't guarantee to see what's going to come through, that can keep us frozen in fear. No, no, no. All right, let's get after it. Let's go for it. I'm just going to go to the Witch's Tarot. I want some clarity on this field, please. Clarity on this fuel energy, please. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Star. Healing, healing, starting on barren land, but knowing magical wish fulfillment is where I'm heading to. Right? And you don't get the star, Virgo, unless you've been through the hell ride on earth. You just don't. Um, but that's because you have to do that to raise your vibration, to raise up through the dimensions into your magical self, right? We all have to go through it. Some people choose not to. They stay blindfolded. They stay stuck in that eight of swords. You know, and that's their choice. That is their choice. But look at this, lovely. I said to you, that's their choice, right? Choose your cup. Some of them will keep you stuck. Some of them are doing the same. Some of them will hurt you. Some of them, butterfly here, will transform you. Options are available. You know it. You know it, right? But you've got to take them. You've got to decide which is yours, which is the one I am going to take. And they also sent out with its strength, right? Come on. Step up. Time to step up. Can you see the affinity symbol? See it over the head? You can see it. Yeah? Spirit. Follow spirit, spirit, follow your intuition. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah, you're more than able for it, my darling Virgo. More than able for it. It's been one hell of a battle, nine of wands. And that might be why you stood there, you know, with your wand up saying, fucking hell, those eight of wands were nasty, right, that I've just been through, climbing up that bloody mountain. Yeah, it's been hard. And I stand defending now, I'm, but I'm going to stay stuck. No, get out of it. Learn the lessons that you have to learn and start moving forward. Lovely. Right, narky see, narky do, narky see, narky do. They're everywhere, my darling. They're everywhere. So, you know, again, if you stick frozen because you've dealt with one, and I'm not taking away from the pain of that, you know, I'm not. But if you stick frozen because of the pain you went through with one, then you're not going to go anywhere. Look at this, it's beautiful, right? You've got to accept that they do exist, right? You just have to learn to navigate them. And I talked to you about those options in the butterfly. Look at this, the chariot. Time to take action, move forward, make motion happen in your life. Get into that chariot there, yeah? Allow the transformation to complete. Look, see, see how it's on her back? Like it's almost like it's pushing forward. Come on, you can get through this vortex. You can get through this portal. Let's go for it. That's what I feel for this Virgo. Don't sit in fear, the moon hiding behind the dark, frightened of what I can't see. Things are hidden from you, right? Sometimes the bad things, right? The bad things are you're hiding bad things. Sometimes, you know, in terms of hurts, sometimes it's because you might say, well, but, you know, what if, what if, what if this happens? What if that happens? You know, like in terms of bad things, well, what if good things happen? You just don't know. But you're a warrior, right? You're a warrior. I just feel I've got a Virgo here who it's time to start to bust your moves. Start, time to start picking up the pace in your life, right? Get rid of anything toxic that is holding you back, right? Doesn't matter. People, things, you know, what, what, what you own owns you, all of that energy, right? 
start to get rid of it look at this it's beautiful right start to get rid of it and clear it nine of pentacles rewards the rewards the abundance comes in can you see how here right can you see how the butterfly is pushing to push through the transformation look at the wings there now right look at the wings transformed that's where you go you're going through a major transformation but you've got to allow look you've got to allow the wheel to spin the changes to occur look how beautiful that card is yeah and once you release and stop doing the same thing all the time like i say it's not about just being radical or you can be if you want i'm radical but that doesn't suit everybody but right and i'll end up in trouble probably but you know you know just start to, to just think about it well I, I can't keep doing the same things to end up in the same position time and again i'm not transforming and i want to transform that's what this virgo says getting rid of the game players getting rid of any game players in your life because life is a game your job is to learn how to navigate it right to get to your true reward soul purpose right so getting rid of the game players in your life says virgo okay i'm just coming to your angels to your angels thank you okay now right that went right up my arm right <laughs> have courage to ask for and accept help asking for help is a sign of strength as is accepting it as it is offered to you very often when you ask god for help prayers are answered through other people be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others as you are guided and what that's telling me it's saying is right because i feel like this is a virgo who stayed stuck doing the same thing on the same treadmill just because it's safe and you know if anyone says are you okay or do you need anything like, no i'm fine i'm absolutely fine absolutely fine. everything's wonderful i'm absolutely fine so i'm okay i'm okay i'm absolutely fine no no absolutely fine right and what they're saying is as you start to move forward in this chariot thing and maybe this is this chariot charity maybe it is a charity right as you start to move forward and you're uncertain you're on wobbly legs right if you want support put it out there to the universe you'll be surprised where it comes from it can be you know you see someone in the shop you set you're at your bus stop the train station whatever it is all of a sudden a conversation strikes up yeah or you know you're browsing through your internet whatever your youtube and all of a sudden a video pops up i'm telling you they're all divinely guided signs to help you keep taking steps on those wobbly legs and you know if you're not okay say you're not okay if you're struggling with something say you're struggling with something you know people are there to help look at this i told you moonlighting beautiful you can start working on your dream career part-time while keeping your other job to pay the bills soon your dream career will take flight and fully support you i am telling you virgo as you stop doing the same thing you know you don't have to just give up your job and go dancing off you know into the but you know i would but no don't listen to me right but you 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 literally sensibly start to say well okay I, I know if i keep doing the same thing i'll be in the same place next year so i'm going to start doing something different to bring the changes i'm looking for into my life beautiful and then eventually i'm telling you that start you're manifesting that in then and that starts to become your reality gorgeous all right virgo i'm going to leave it there i hope it helped you if it's your reading um, if you haven't already please do subscribe to the channel help me keep the channel running if you want a private reading drop me a note soulsirentarot at gmail.com i am on limited availability but i do my best to cover every request i get all right guys all right i'll see you soon stay safe virgo um, and love and light bye